What's up, wrestling fans? I told you I'd be back. I'll probably be back for more later, too. A lot of people didn't even see that we were live earlier today. They were like, did you hear the news? I'm like, did you see my three-hour video? Several people. So, guys, that's why it's so important to become a patron on Patreon so you get the alerts there and everywhere else because you never know what's going to happen. Now, looking at this, I talked about this earlier today in my video in the live stream earlier, three hours long. Something's up with the WWE, and we, don't, we aren't 100% sure what that something is. My people are like, is the WWE for sale? And I've always said and have been saying that I don't think the WWE's for sale, but I do think that they're looking for partners or a partner to come in and own a portion of the company or to invest in them uh, or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the means are with that, but it, this may e help explain some of it. Report that WWE is planning to become the next Marvel. I don't know how this is achieved, by the way, but it's being reported that the business strategy that's going on with the WWE to expand the company to a giant full-scale media universe uh, using Marvel as a blueprint. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're going to change their name to Worldwide Entertainment or Worldwide Entertainment Company. I don't know what that means exactly. This comes um, seemingly still in the midst of a big overhaul, writes uh, Russell Talk. Uh, Nick Khan, which has prompted rumors uh, that the company could be preparing for sale since Nick Khan has taken over as the WWE president and he's overhauling the company. We know about all this. The um, report also points out that as part of a uh, aforementioned overhaul, WWE has brought in media executives from outside the wrestling business to help with this goal. Marvel went from bankrupt uh, comic book company to a box office behemoth. Problem is with the with this rumor and this situation is WWE isn't a movie company like that. WWE isn't a franchise like that. <clears throat> Marvel was writing comic book stories and they turned the comic book stories into movies because they were written stories in comic books that they could then turn into movies. Are are you telling me that WWE is going to take its storylines from wrestling and turn them into movies? I don't quite understand how WWE using the Marvel Cinematic Universe makes any sense. How are they going to do that? Marvel took a dead comic book company uh, and made it into a huge movie box office. How is WWE going to do that with their dead company as far as their dead shows? I don't understand. Like, what, people are going to go see Roman Reigns in movies? Uh, people are going to see, uh, I don't know, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker in movies, I guess? I, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't think this translates. I don't quite understand it. No doubt they could be bringing in people who worked on the Marvel Cinematic Universe to figure out how they could do, you know, how they could revitalize the WWE with all of their characters, stories, and history. Yes, I could see that, but isn't that what you have with the WWE Network and what you have with your live shows every week? And now you're on Peacock, though. Uh, are you going to make movies? Uh, are you going to turn the WWE Movie Studio into a real studio again and get that going? I just fail to see how this makes any sense whatsoever and how there's no way the WWE can be on the scale of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't understand this at all. And it I don't think it adds up. It doesn't make sense to me. Yes, there could be some kind of vibe about that, about like we need to make WWE more of this big brand name and this big universe, but how does this... I mean, it doesn't make sense. The business strategy of WWE is to grow to expand to a full-scale media universe using Marvel as the blueprint. What does that mean? Media universe. I mean, isn't that always what the WWE's done? The WWE has always had movies. The WWE has always had comic books. The WWE has always had <coughs> CDs to buy and DVDs and, and the network and things like that. What's the difference? Aren't they already a big media universe? But except they're, they're shrinking. Nobody buys their comic books at all almost anymore. Um, they, they, they sell t-shirts and some product, I guess, from the wrestlers. How different can you possibly make this situation? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't get it. What do you think? What do you guys think? I still think some, they're trying to bring in third party or somebody to work with as a partner as far as their company 
media and ownership goes. I don't know what that is. I don't think they're straight out selling, although they could be selling a portion of themselves maybe, but I think more of a partnership is what I've been saying for weeks and months and even a year. Uh, you guys can go back and see all my videos on that. Uh, and you can even hear me a few hours ago talking about it. And now this has come out, and I think this is more likely what's going on than that they're, uh, you know, potentially just selling the company outright. And that's my opinion. What's your opinion? Leave it in the comments down below. And if you missed my three-hour video earlier on all the wrestlers that were released today, go watch it. It looks like there may be more to come, by the way. But it's okay because Cardi B is going to be at SummerSlam, everybody. And now Cardi B can be at SummerSlam because now that they've fired all these people, uh, they do have some more room to pay Cardi B. Thank goodness uh, we can watch her and her juices flow uh, at WWE SummerSlam. I'm Joe Cronin. This is the Joe Cronin Show. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass on the way out. Leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think about all this. We'll see you in the next video. When Raw, Raw, SmackDown, WWE, or AEW end, tune in to The Joe Cronin Show, live, live, live on YouTube for review and reaction. Joe Cronin and Jake break down all the action, all of it. The Joe Cronin Show. Your source for wrestling opinions, news, and insanity. A wrestling podcast with attitude. Mature audiences only. Join our community of over 70,000 people. Subscribe free on YouTube to The Joe Cronin Show.